Hey everybody, Lux into Swirl here, new day, new cup project. I am going to do something that was, it occurred to me after watching one video by Claire's Crafty Corner, and then a viewer came along and recommended it based on seeing the same technique in pouring your heart out. I will link to both of those videos below. I will also insert here, the name of the wonderful viewer who who inspired me to finally get off my arse and you know give this a shot because I thought about it and then I you know I get distracted by a lot of other pretty shiny things and I'd sort of forgotten that I meant to do this. <laughs> we are going to try it today. I'm going to use my liquidy split from KS Resin. This is KS Resin's fast set. I'm going to mix up about 20 milliliters because that's more than I actually need. This is a 20 ounce cup. I may need about 10, maybe 15 milliliters. Don't want a whole lot on here. I'm not trying to do a big swirl or anything like that, but I also want to mix up enough that I get an accurate mixture. So I'm going to go for 20 and I will use some of it on this cup. And then I am going to uh, hit it with some heat and go away for 45 minutes and then come back and you'll see what happens next. So sit back and enjoy the show. And we're back. All right, I have to start by explaining something and apologizing for my total technological ineptitude here. I actually did have the camera all set up so that when I draped the cling wrap onto this cup after 45 minutes of waiting for the resin to get tacky, I was I was shooting the video, I was wrapping, I was pinching, I was scrunching, I was doing all the things so you could see what I was doing. And then I went to turn off the recording and that's when I apparently finally got around to turning it on. So I have a split second of the cup freshly wrapped before I picked the camera up and walked into another room and I have all that footage, but don't have what I was supposed to be showing you. I am so sorry. So this is where my camera left off. And now here we are. It's the next day. I think I'll do a close up. You can see what I'm talking about. I, I draped it over. I wrapped it around. And then I went through and I, I pinched and scrunched. And that's where we're getting these um, I don't know, crevices, canyons, <laughs> Uh, fingerprint looking things, scrunchies, however you want to say it. Okay, so that brings us to the current moment and everything is set up. This cured overnight on the turner. I'm going to try and get this cling wrap off. I uh, also need to tell you that I uh, sprayed the other side of this wrap, not the part I'm touching, but the other side that went against the resin. I sprayed it with mold release before I did the wrapping. I didn't actually show that on camera, but I want to tell you, and I have no idea if it's going to help or not. This could be, this could be really painful to watch. So the camera's on. <laughs> Here we go. Well, okay, so far so good. That looks pretty nice. All right, I am starting to get pieces stuck in the pinched areas. That does not surprise me at all. I knew this was gonna happen. Um, and it, it doesn't bother me. Our My goal here, our goal, our goal, is to get as much of the cling wrap film off as absolutely possible before going on to the next step. So I'm gonna shut up and fast mow and here we go. Uh, the other thing I want to say, because I didn't address this in advance, is that I did not put any resin on the bottom of the cup. And I won't be putting any resin on the bottom of the cup until I put the final layer of resin on, because the bottoms are just 
trouble areas for me in general. I, I always level everything before I start putting stuff on, but I'm just going to avoid a wobbly bottom because nobody likes a wobbly bottom, do they? So I'm going to avoid that by not putting any resin down there until the very last coat. Just, oh, well, actually, you know what? That wasn't so bad. So try that, folks. If you, if you want to try this method, spray your sheet of cling film the side that will be going against the cup with some mold release. And let me let me show you my mold release. Hang on a sec. All right, so here is my mold release that I, I just chose this off of Amazon. Uh, I think I got two or three cans in one order. Not I don't know why, but I've been using it. It works great. I will link to everything below, of course, as always. But I wanted you to actually see the can because I don't usually show it in my videos. I just I just talk about it. Okay, so this is off. We now have a cup that looks like this. How cool is that? <laughs> I don't know, Luxinda, how cool is that? It looks kind of weird. It does, it does look very weird. Okay, so the next step is to get, I'm gonna try and get off some of these really, um, I don't know how you call it, high bits. And by high, I mean, bits that stick off pretty far off the base of the cup because they're going to cause so many problems when it comes to trying to cover everything with more layers of resin. It's like, you know, dealing with chunky glitter. You really don't want anything sticking up because that just means endless layers of resin to try and get it to cover and be uh, flat and smooth at the end. So if I can pick off any of these sticker upper parts, as gonna. Uh, not too bad. Oh, I'm going to end up doing sanding no matter what. It's inevitable with something like this, but I will put more, more layers of resin on top before I do any sanding. So today is International Coffee Day. Or no, I'm sorry, that's tomorrow. Today is National Coffee Day. Tomorrow, uh, September 30th, is International Coffee Day. So I plan on celebrating heavily both days because I am a coffee lover. Oh my God, I just can't drink as much of it as I used to anymore. It just, it just doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't go well if I do. Um, but I had two full cups this morning and I enjoyed every second of it. I sit down in the morning with my precious, delightful, wonderful cups of coffee and I watch Anthony Crammon videos because I adore him and he makes me laugh. And that just starts the whole day off right, you know? So there's my, there's my tip for the day. <laughs> Coffee and Anthony Crammon. Can't go wrong there. All right, I think I've um, futzed with it enough because, you know, looks into swirl, one futz too far. It's, it's my thing. Okay, so the next step is gonna be that I am going to put this back on an arm so I, I don't touch it and take it out on the deck and I am going to spray it with Rust-Oleum 2X Gloss Clear. And the reason I'm going to spray it with gloss is because I want it to stay, I want the paint to stay uh, wet or tacky, especially not freshly wet, but tacky for as long as possible because then I'm going to paint on some mica powder and it will adhere better if the paint is tacky and gloss paint tends to dry more slowly than matte paint does. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I have sprayed my cup with the Rust-Oleum. Probably can't see much of a difference, but it is, it is now wet with clear gloss paint. I have chosen to apply, this is from Woody's Goodies. It's a chameleon called, uh, <laughs> you're killing me, Smalls. And uh, it just, it looks, I mean, just in the cup, it looks so gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that. That is so beautiful. 
Okay, because I am the queen of oversealing, as we all know, I will be sealing this with Rust-Oleum 2X Matte Clear, and uh, I will bring you back, and we will put a layer of resin on this, and then we will see where we are. Like I said, I would be very surprised if it doesn't take multiple layers to cover over all the ridges, and then it will probably involve some sanding, but I think it's gonna be worth it. So, stay tuned. And we're back. Okay, this has been sealed. I am now going to apply some epoxy resin. I'm going to use Mr. Nola's Glitter's Glass Coat Epoxy, mainly because when this is mixed up, it's uh, thicker than the KS Resin Liquid Stone, for example, that I usually use. And I think having a thicker viscosity resin will help me cover the ridges better. So I'm gonna start with a coat of this. I'm gonna mix up, I'm torn between 20 and 30 milliliters. I'll probably mix up 30. I may not use it all. I'm not gonna put anything in it. We are just gonna let this show through. So um, yeah, just sit back and enjoy the show. We'll see how it goes. And we're back. Okay, so here's where we are. Here's what we have. I have now put 50, 50 milliliters on this on top of the original 10 to 15 I put on before applying the cling wrap. So there's about 65 milliliters of resin on this cup, none on the bottom yet, but it's still got some, uh, it's got some nice smooth areas. It's also got some things poking up still. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take this out on the deck and sand it pretty significantly around the rim, around the bottom rim, and then getting uh, some of the bumps sanded down that uh, just are still sticking up. And then I'm gonna put a decal on it, and then I'm gonna put one final layer of resin with no marabou alcohol ink in it. I just, I want what we've done with the uh, chameleon micas to shine through. So it will just be what's on the cup now and a clear layer of resin to protect everything. That's all that I'm gonna add. And then I'll bring you back for the big reveal. 